All right. So today we are going to be playing a list that I brewed here. Um, I believe I called it Break Out of Prison. This is a home brew. Let me uh, put it in the right sort. Amount of value. Okay. So um, traditionally, any deck that plays Mox Diamond, the rule has been 26 lands. So the concept for me here, let me just change the sort order a little bit, is you really want to get Mox Diamond and a 2-drop, turn 1, nearly every game. If you do not have that opportunity, the next best thing that you probably can do is fetch for a uh, Surveil Land. Um, so that's that's what we're trying here. Um, so it's going to be a dedicated deck to try to go turn one mox and a payoff. Hey, Finn, good to see you. Next, if you're going to run 26 lands in a deck that's primarily two drops, my thought was that Saga would sort of act as both a land and a spell. Um, so the idea is you can pitch Saga, you can also use Saga to generate threats late game, and um, from what I've heard, this deck has a harder time closing things out. Breakout is the inspiration for this deck, so it says look at the top six cards of your library. You may choose a creature card from among them. If that card has mana value two or less you may put it onto the battlefield it gains haste until end of turn uh and if you don't choose a two drop um you may reveal the card put it into your hand put the rest at the bottom in the random water so very two drop uh focused these mall locks are pretty much two drops uh a turn one deep root wayfinder is also a really good play, especially, you know, with Mox, because you um, you attack, you surveil one, and then you get to return a land card from your yard to the battlefield tapped, um, which is a big tempo. This is also playing Thalia, a card that I figured, like Chalice, if you get this on turn one, can really hurt your opponent. Mystic, I still think, is a great two-drop. In addition, a hasty mystic later game can really be a menace with cards like cauldra and batter skull i'm um, also playing a lion sash uh, and a shadow spear for the saga uh, this is version one and last um i'm playing four endurances in the board um this is a card that i would like to play mean, but I really want the number of hits to be higher. And I'm already playing a lot of lands. And, you know, you could hit Haywire Might, but you can't hit the equipments besides Lion Sash. So I, I figured I would try it in the board. Um, also, you could find it off Breakout and just not use it. I'm playing two Containment Priests, two Ethersworn Canonist, two Hushbringer, two Oof, two Collector Oof, Four endurance and one needle to find off the saga, which is my go-to. Um, yeah, uh, I I was brewing with black. I was thinking, hey, I'm playing Mox Diamond. Let's try four color. And um, ultimately, what happened was the Stalia slot became Bowmaster, which is you know probably an upgrade, but there weren't really any other two drop black creatures I wanted to run. Uh, Bob might be the exception. However, Bob and Mystic don't play well together. So I kind of just like, you know, just, just did a bunch of random, you know, thinking and combinations. And eventually I just said, all right, we're just going to make the damn thing Naya. Yeah, I, I feel like it'll come back. It's just like if, if Bowmaster ever goes, and I'm not saying it should, I think it might come back. Voidwalker's really good, too. Hey, Seed, how's it going? You're a mad genius. All right. What's uh, 
what uh what happened? Oh, is it? I made painter work. Oh, what color? I would guess white, but I don't really know. I imagine some of the red cards are still there, but you're missing welder, which is like really really good. You know, there might be. Maybe that's fine. Maybe it's two color. Maybe red, white, and that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm interested to hear how that works. All right. I think the list is up, uh, uploaded. Yep. Break out of prison. Homebrew here. Behold, modern painter. What do we got? Oh, this is going to be a lot of reading for me. Uh, crime novelist. Uh, whatever you sacrifice, not artifact. Uh, put a one plus one. Yeah. Engineer. Oh, okay. All right. Arcbound Ravager. Oh, wow. You're playing a Gargadon. Just one, though. Do you have any payoffs with that? So you have Sword of the Meek. Cool. So, okay. You're doing some cauldron stuff. And a goblin bombardment. Wow, this is spicy. Of course, Saga fits really well into that. I'm a little surprised. I don't know Modern very well, but I thought Blood Moon would be in here somewhere. But uh, I'm not a Modern player. I've actually, I've actually never played Modern, but it's it's really cool. Yeah, that, uh, good luck with it. I hope you keep winning games. I think also there's the surprise factor of your opponent trying to play around things and not quite understanding what you're doing. Um, I think I've won a lot of games on that principle, um, being mostly a, a Maverick player, but also like a, a Saga Maverick player, like, and especially with, like with Dark Depths being a more popular version of the deck, I feel like an untapped knight implants ideas into your opponent's head, even when you don't run... Um, the uh the combo they just they, they play around it um all right i added a little, lot of funk to my playlist wonder where i'm gonna start today um let's see i'll go I also added some weird owl. Wow. Um, yeah, people always play around there. At least, yeah, exactly. Moon is an issue, but modern is full of five. Yeah, that's what I was. Th I thought Moon would be like a, a good meta call. But yeah, Gargadon makes sense as like another Ravager. Uh, yeah. Um. I am going to go with this. Some CADS. I'm sure that's what they were calling it in Boston. The CADS. Right, I should shut up. I have an accent too. Born and raised in Philly, so I'm no better. I just That accent just always gets me. Make sure I don't have like a 14 card sideboard or something silly. 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Yeah, cool. I've definitely built decks and like not had like, like almost like you run Mystic with like no tutors or something, you know? Or you run Saga and you don't have any payoffs. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm also a late. Dream. Ooh. Yeah. 
This is tough because I don't have any green lands. I think I'm going to try it just out of ignorance, though. Okay, so it could be Tony's deck, huh? Do this. Put that into the yard. Play this on zero. I hope that's good. <laughs> It might be. They're hesitating. Okay. Um, I am ignorant to what could be going on here. My feeling is Thalia is going to be good. Damn. Worst possible draw. Okay. In this economy... It's, um, opponent seems to be getting paired against Chalice a lot. That's what they said. Yeah. Especially on the blind. That's kind of why I like the Chalice. All right. Um, my instinct is this is a storm deck, like Black Saga Storm. Um, yeah, it it is likely that is what they are doing. Um, so these are good. Needle might be good. This is kind of also like, um, <laughs> okay, man, Gork, yeah, I think you get it. <laughs> I don't know how often people read them, but I, I wanted, I, I, I think it gets, you get the point, you know, about breakout. Will it break out, break out, break out? Breakout, breakout, breakout. Um, okay, so going back to my thoughts, um, a very good player named Chris Tucker, no relation to, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, Chris Tucker, always says that the Stoneforge Mystic com tech is something you want to board out against combo, and if you run like a bunch of Mystics, it make it really awkward. Can't help but agree with that in this moment. I think I'll run the one spear, maybe. Beseech is, yeah, pretty good. Okay, yeah, this is this is good.
you can tell though every hand you want to you want to mox you know the thing about i think this deck like i couldn't mull this because of how good chalice is here most likely They're probably going to play them all out. Okay. Yo, Romario. Damn it. All right. One of those, if I'm on the play, I win. If I'm on the draw, I ditch. Um, my two cents to people watching, never hit six or yield the turn against combo players it's just make them think you have something even when you don't like now i could hit six like you know they know jokes on you nerd your hand sucks you know um but until then if you ever watch tony's stream especially like tony and if you watch cook as well the moment their opponent, like, yields, they just, they go, like, all right, I win. Um, okay. Go on, cue that up. This is not an easy call for me here. Um, Wasteland is not great. Um, it may be the call. They have four mana here. Eventually, I'm going to have to hit two land in order to do anything unless I get a box. I think I'm that desperate that I'm just going to hope to hit a box. And tomb, okay. All right. All right. If I get another turn, there's a good chance I win. But I may not get another turn. Or they may thought seize me or something. Uh-oh. Hey, Echo. Bruh. <laughs> uh... If they go for a Beseech, maybe I can win. Like, that would...
All right. It was a sorcery, so they can't do anything. They they sequenced poorly there. Oh. Um, a little bit of regrets here. I think the breakout would have been better to keep. Um, uh, probably a Savannah, huh? Don't think it matters a whole lot. Yeah, Breakout, I think, would have been likely better. Hey, good to see you, Moses. Yeah. Yoked son of a gun. Um, things are going okay. I'm, um, I weighed myself recently and I was significantly heavier than I wanted to be. And I am getting back more on the seriousness of training. Um, so that's, that's a good thing. Um, let's go to combat first. I think we hit the LED probably. Yeah. Stormy days. Um, okay. Let's do this first. Not that I think it's going to influence my chalice choice here. Like I'm definitely okay, I think I want to draw that. We're going to keep that on top. This is where some ignorance happens, right? So uh, dark ritual this shuts down. Um, Beseech is probably just going to be the GG's if they have it. I don't think cutting them off of one mana really matters here. Putting this on two is really like what I want to do, probably to cut off tutors. Um, should I put this on zero or one? I don't know. Let me see what's in exile. Three fucking echoes. Uh, okay. Dark Rituals, Mana Rock. Thought Seize, but Thought Seize is not going to matter any longer. Dark Ritual, Thought Seize, or a billion Mana Rocks. It's probably on zero, huh? Oh, and Tomb. Gwee. Thank you. Shit. Uh, I noticed it too late, but thank you for chiming in. Hopefully, hopefully we are not punished. Said so, GG's. I do. All right. Uh, Chalice on zero. Cool. I am curious. What was that going to get me? We were going to get Italia. 
or a deep root, in which case we would have taken Nathalia. Cool. All right. Yeah, zero was correct. I guess so. I like the Urkel. I <laughs> it's so bad. Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep it. Again, I just uh, I've not had too many mox hands, and I just I think on the blind, like a soul guide could be really good. A commercial district or a lush is not a bad turn one play. Um, quite a few options here. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what our role is in the figurative prison break here. They mauled my heart says waste. Okay. I'll do a their main phase waste like a pro unless they brainstorm. Playing around crop rotation. They float green. Excellent. Mangork, you son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, all right. Uh, Cast. Him. Him. All right. One, two, one, two. Oh, uh, let me cue that up for you. I mean, they have to force that, right? They pitch days. Breakout would be good. Deep root, boy. Put into the ad. That wasteland. The Jund one? Yeah. I I just had a feeling about Thalia and Stoneforge. One, two, one, two. Um So a complete whiff. Okay. Huh. Um, put that into your graveyard. Yes. I think I'll get the waste. We suck again. So 17 is the number of creatures in the main deck. All right, they draw land. Ooh. So 
So we waste. We move to Combaticus. We say, put that into the Yad. We say yes. We get Saga back this time because we drew the waste. I kind of want to draw a card here. Oh, well, all right. Not good. In Coco, you need 28 to consistently hit. How do you hit with 17? So I didn't, I didn't know that about Coco. Um, breakout is six. I'm not sure how much collected company is. Is that, is that six as well? Also, you're, you're only hitting one. So my, my figuring was like the odds were pretty high. Okay. Coco is six, but hitting two. Okay. Yeah. Great seeing you, Finn. Thank you for stopping by. So seeing only Tundra, I don't know if that means I should sideboard or not. Yeah, this one's some spice for sure. Playing your home girl here. I kind of am mad that I bought the cheapest art of this one. Hey, I start good to see ya. I could see taking out the graveyard stuff, maybe for like this card. But it's really only this is like the graveyard stuff. I don't know, I'm just gonna run it back. I have no idea. I'm just gonna not sideboard. Yeah, mom's a nice lady too. A beautiful lady. Odds of drawing one or more of 17 cards in a 52 card. Yeah, that's yo, that's an awesome bot ad. Holy fuck. I need to use that command. With 17 cards out of 60. Yes. Okay. And if I had a hand with no creatures, then the 53 would be, yeah, decent. Maybe it's got to be higher. I really want to play Chalice, and I want to play Mystic. That's really good. All right. I hope that's good. They're playing Days and Hundra. And they force pitch Days. All right, so no new information. Doop, 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 doop. Once I rose above the noise and confusion, I was soaring ever higher. But I soared too much? Oh, there's a song request. All right, uh, sorry. Yes, this one's relevant. You think breaking fast? I think so, too. Gotcha. No, it's... It is, in fact, Friday. Yeah. I gotta catch that bus. I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna die. Um, alright. Uh...
She became a billionaire, I think. Moloch 13. Hmm. Say yes. Get Cauldra. Is that enough butt? Bun, 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 bun. So, yes. Oh! Alright. Then I think we give him the old right there, Fred. Hey, Matt. Good to see you. Bun, bun, bun. Oh, no! Now I suck again. I played around cantrip into they win, and now I'm gonna die into wasteland they win. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not that land. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was brutal. So, Outland Liberator... Yes. Definitely don't want to play that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so, uh, Carador. I don't think that, uh, that plays well. Might just be those two. And then what am I doing? I'm taking out the Soul Guide Lantern. Nah, the Haywire Might. Because Haywire Might can't hit the 12 12. They might still phase the Dreadnought. Yeah, that's true. A little bit of animes. I'm not a major. An I like. I watched the anime that was on Adult Swim when I had cable television. So like, probably like 2004 to or 2005, maybe to like 2010 or something. Oh, this is a banger. Hit it. Um, I don't think I want the lion sash. You lion son of a bitch. Akira, yeah, that's great. My my dad showed that to me and I was too young to watch it. That's what I remember. It had adult themes. Yes. Here comes the hot stress up. Damn. If I didn't waste, maybe I would have won that game. Initial D. I haven't heard that word in a long time. Yeah. There was lots of things going on there. I think I gotta play into it. They're gonna stifle it. No? Okay. We'll get the Lush Boy. And we'll put that on top. Yes. Chalice is super good here, huh? Yeah. 
Okay. Pitching a daze. Uh-oh. That's really bad. They pitched a daze? I think they're going to kill me this turn. Fuck. No. Okay. Don't think I really want the Mox. Big up. Okay. So I could get a commercial district or a lush whatever. Yeah, I, I thought they didn't do that because they were going to play the Dreadnought. Like, I thought that was the turn that they were going to do the thing. Maybe this is a Brazen. Doorkeeper Thrall Boy. Okay. They might be a lyrical gangster. That's interesting. Bruh. <laughs> oh, boy. They, uh, I think maybe they thought this would, like, stop a triggered ability, but this isn't a triggered ability, you know? Um. Um, yeah, no, nah, it's not. It's not like they could call Judge. I've been there. I I knew that didn't work, but I've... I've not known other things that, you know. That would have been cool if it was a counter to Chalice. Um... Keep it secret. Okay. I don't think I need a second, so I'm going to put that into the yard. In fact, I'd have to play it on two, so that wouldn't really make sense. Deep Root Boy? Hmm. Yeah, I th I think Dahlia is the right call. It could slow them down pretty significantly. It's not like Brazen would cost three, though. I think Doorkeeper shuts the uh, the Maw Lock down, if I understand correctly. And if I claim to be a wise man, it surely means that I don't know. 
Bro, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. Yo, Batasai, good to see you. Knock him off, Toundra. Yeah, one Merc Tide could just like swing the whole game here. Yeah. And if I claim to be a wise man, it surely means that I don't know. Okay. Don't know if I want to draw that. It's not bad. Yeah, I'll put it into the yard. And we'll get the uh, Wasteland back. And we'll play this. Um, the reason I am keeping this is because it uh, can get a Surveil Land, which is, I think, more valuable than uh, the Mox. Uh, I, I don't think I actually have one. I think my answer to Merc is uh, maybe an Endurance. All right, I'm going to keep that on top. We're going to go to waste them out here. Yeah. Don't you cry no more. Uh yeah, we do want that on top. Put on top. Uh Cauldra is pretty good. Cauldra and Batter Skull are like sort of how I would race it. Oh, shit. You're right. I could put the batter skull in the play, though. I think this is an Uro. And then she looked me in the eye. Address diggity. Okay. I think that's the GG's. But no living weapon. Alright, so... Had I considered those variables... Cool opponent. Yeah, they, you gotta learn somehow, you know? I, uh... I think, um... When they see Chalice, they're gonna remember that for the next game. Good thing it was just a silly $10 tournament, you know? Um, cool. All right, 2-0. Um, lessons are lessons, in fact. I'd say a success for me was a 3-2. So if I could win one of these next three, I'm going to feel pretty good getting out of this. Um, I think for a version 1.0...
borrowing a little bit from what I saw um, Laji, uh, Dave, play um, with the black version with um, Moxes and Chalice. Um, playing less land, so. Yeah. Oh no, the deck is awful. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I think I might win a few games just out of the surprise factor. You know? Just people just not totally understanding um, what I might do next. And I, I probably won that game based off of the fact that I just landed a chalice. And I think the other game I won because I landed a chalice. I might even win this game because I land a chalice, you know? Lush is a little awkward here. I cannot break out here. Okay. So we'll pitch the Lush by. We'll play the Wasty. And we'll go Chalice. Yo, good to see you, Diego. <laughs> you could say that, Carador. Perhaps so. But then she looked me in the eye and said, we gonna die. I don't know. Sorry. I didn't mean that. I'd like to apologize. Um, I think Buttforge Mystic. I think. I want to hold the fetch. Yeah. That's true. Could... It could also be Thalia. Alright. We're gonna go for it. After all... Alright, really bad. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Hasty boy. <laughs> or a pirate ship. I think they're... I don't know if it was wrong, but it was, uh... Worst timeline, yeah. Saga's pretty good. Gonna just try to just get in there. I feel like that's gonna eat a force. It's just too darn good. No. Batter boy? Lion Sash? I'm gonna go batter. Sash, you like sash shit. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck is up with? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What is going on? All right, 
I know I pay actors, but... Gosh. This is crazy. Do I take a draw? I guess not. I click too quickly. I I have lethal next turn, I think if I get a shadow spear. Yeah, rigged leak. Yo, chalice. It might be chalice time, friends. Veil of Summer and Cling to Dust and Wasteland. So, maybe Scam? That's my read here. Um... Does that mean I should take out the Thalias, maybe? You think so? Okay. So I think I might be able to swap those to play around Bowmaster better. I think that's the right thing to do. I mean, like, Thalia is still really good, though. It's just... My read is... With Wasteland would not be in, like, a Storm deck. But, like, Veil of Summer's in a Storm deck. But, like, maybe it was just the weird one of Veil for, like, the blue mirror. And same with, like, Clang the Dust. Like, that... It's gotta be, like, a control deck. And I think Bowmaster is probably in like every every deck that plays black that isn't like Bryant Cook dot deck or Tony Scapone dot deck. That's what I think. Taking a little bit of time here. Might be trying to look up what the deck is, but this is my own stupid deck, you know? Um, could see Moloch being not worth it as well, but I don't know. Yet. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So, bummer. Um, had a mold of five here. Um, and I think we're forced to put these two back. Well, let me think. Um, the Mox is, like, really risky here. But turn one breakout's probably pretty good. Um, I lost, like, a lot of time, too. Um, I'll take the risk. All right.
go. Cool. Looking good. Oh shit, Arkin. Hey. Good to see you. Thank you for the raid. Been having some uh strange connectivity issues. Can be uh a pain. I'm gonna have to do some video editing to fix it. But worse things have happened. Um Play the saga. Let's fetch first. Get like a lush portico here. And damn. This will keep it on top. And we're gonna scry but not bother. Um We'll keep that on top. Okay. And we'll say yes. Pretty good. And whenever uh, the video disconnects, you have to um, download things and put the videos together. Just uh, more work than just like straight to Twitch, which is what, of course, you know, the easiest thing to do. I think this one's definitely one that I want to uh, post for sure. They're thinking. I feel like they kind of have to kill this. And my goal is to just be as aggressive as possible here, I think. Let's see what they do. Fetching in response is a little sus, actually, because then I'm going to get an additional hit. So maybe they have something for it. Some sort of counter spell. I'm gonna draw a mystic, which ain't bad. Drown the lock? Days, okay. Okay. Some sort of edict. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. So, draw Mystic. I think we just get Batter Skull. So I could just cast it. Another up the bean boy. All right. Now I kind of wish I got Caldera, huh? Let's see, what we draw. 
Let's get a uh, parlor here. Uh, don't think I really want that one. Saga's good. Um, I suppose we just put it into play. Don't have a Dryad Arbor in this deck. I do have a lot of pressure, though. I think the Saga is better than the Endurance here. The best draw probably was Calder, though. I think it was safer to fetch the Batter Skull, though. I probably will fetch also for the uh, red green uh, surveil land. Commercial district. Let's see what we hit. Chalice. That's that's actually pretty good, right? But it's bug. Do I really want chalice more than a random? I would put it on one, two, three, four, five, six. I'd put it on one. It would shut down the cantrips. I think it's good. It also is another artifact. I'm going to do it now. Yeah, good point. That's the play we need. Okay, they push that. Makes sense. Um, let's attack for one here. And um, I feel like I'm in decent shape here. Even though they have four in hand and two beans, I have a lot of pressure with this saga. And even if they have a wasteland, which would be a bummer, like waste into like Murktide is probably like the worst case that I could think of. Um, maybe just like a deed or something is totally fucking nuts too. But yeah, these are going to be big constructs. Okay. I think it's just so guide here. Because Murktide's, like, the biggest, scariest thing. 
And then... Got that's gonna blow it now. May better skull back to hand here. That might be good, right? Waste, not very good. You know what? I just made a mistake. I think it's fine. I, 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 yeah. I don't want to put Chalice on too. Matters cut. Yep. Um, yeah. Chalice on two is too crazy. Wasteland doesn't really do much here. Saga's good, though. Um, kind of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to keep the uh, Mystic back for the reset if I need it. Yeah. Man, yeah, nothing I could do. They're keeping up with me pretty well. Okay, cool. Did that right? I could just might have risk cut that. Not the draw I wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Good, correct usage. Yeah, there you go. 
Um, I think I still had the song request, uh, Matt, if you're still here. So now I could do all the things, right? I have eight. I might lose this game due to clock. Like, I'm kind of banking on winning here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Five and three is eight. With a bloom command. Uh target player. Alright. So they're gonna destroy that. Yep. Good thing I have a backup. But it might be too late. It's kind of easy when you listen to the G'd up sound. Them taking long is almost, like, bad for me. I mean, not only does it mean they have something, but, like, I, I'm not going to win this by them running out of clock unless they, too, disconnect. All right. Hell yeah. Okay. Moloch. Pretty cool. Um, we'll go... Yeah, me too. They must have, like, another one or something. Leaving the Mystic back as a Bowmaster. But then again, that's probably not a big deal. Just need to, like, make choices decisively at this point in the event that there is a Game 3. So the seven's going to be a big deal. All right. No effects here. Dress down. Hey, Harry. Cool, got, got the song coming. Oh, that's a good one, too. No. Walter. Ugh. 
Put your dick away, Walter. Should have wasted your right. I killed the skull. Mystic, okay. Tapped wrong, damn it. I can almost cast the Cauldra soon. Wondering if I should have just played the Moloch. They're thinking. Yeah. Oh boy. Three and oh. Yes. Hard cast cauldra in two days. That's the plan, Iron. Good to see you. Alright. 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 Three and oh. Okay. Uh, got the uh, song request, Psycho Killer, right? That's what uh, Matt had up there. How bizarre. I'm going to forget. I, I like how bizarre a lot, though. Yeah. Uh, duel for a duel. Oh, that's the one. Um, I think uh, Dreadnought's going to be there. Um, it's, it's winner take all, right? Winner gets a Savannah. Best will land in a format, not even close. Um, hmm. It's about 45 minutes, I think, from me. Or 3.30 in credit, yeah. Only a sucker wouldn't take a Savannah, though. Even if you have four, you're going to want five. Damn, yeah, is that a... Uh... Okay, like if you top something there, you, you get an invite to the big boy. I need to pay attention to what's going on. Tap in, bro. Um, all right, I keep not 100 though. Um, I won't commit just yet, but I like it. Land is best, probably Saga here. Okay, that's good. Why say it again? I think... I think the... Taiga? Um... We're going to go Chalice. Chalice, by the way, has been excellent. I do want to play some Paper Magic, and I'd like to see it, too. I have a Outland Liberator I was supposed to give you last time, and I never gave it to you. A Japanese foil one. And if you have a cooler one and don't want it, I understand. But it's a Japanese foil alternate art. I don't have a cool day and night, though. The Lonely Loner. Whenever I say day and night, I think of that Kid Cuddy song. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's all yours if you want it. Okay, so... 
play this. Break out. Hit Dahlia. Oh, no. I wanted to play the Soul Guide Lantern. All right. Hit Dahlia. Hit Dahlia. All right. Uh, kind of funny. I feel like this is where the fun stops, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, where are we in this game? You're like, I don't know. Damn, the Soul Guide Lantern. Ugh. That's such a bummer. All right. Um, I have no way but like a top deck mystic. And a top deck unanswered mystic is like my only way out of this. Okay. That's a top deck mystic. But will it be unanswered? Um... There it is. And I'll take another one. Yeah. All right, we'll see what happens. Cool. Thanks for that request. Two mana brainstorm. Probably looking for Bo to kill Thalia, but then I get. Maybe they're looking for land and removal spell for Mystic. Decay Mystic, maybe? Ponder. Okay. Um, I think fucking dumb fucking Caldra is going to win the game. All right. And they attack. Okay. So we're winning the race, I'm pretty sure. Uh... Feel something got my radars up. Cool. Yeah. Don't know what the other best option was. If they tap out, I'm... I don't know. This is feeling good, though. Okay. Wonder what the option is for them. Another Merc? Okay. They hit the Thalia. Uh, 
Uh oh. Okay, I think I win. Yep. They attack for nine. I attack for... I win. I just win right there. Well, one. Yeah. Holy shit, right? I ain't scared. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Uh, wondering if I want these. Um, don't really want this. I'm going to take those out, I think. Moloch's probably not too good, though. Yeah. Could see, like, keeping maybe two Thalias or something. Kind of changing the way I'm boarding here. Try that. Yeah, I like that plan. We're on the same page there. Um, I'm not extremely confident about this hand, but I think it's worth a shot. If you think about it, a turn one Thalia is very similar to a turn one Wasteland here. Hmm. I think we do this, pitch this, play this, go white, this, Thalia. And if they Bowmaster, so be it. Fatal Bush, great, okay. Play this, green this, this, and then waste them off that. And then we're kind of sold on the constructs here plan. Oh, not anymore. Okay. So probably just play lush unless we draw a two drop. Yeah. Yeah, let's play the Lush. Uh, bin that. Okay. Don't duck it up. I will not. Nah, I might. I might duck it up. Let's be real. Ooh. This lets me play around days. I'm going to do that at the beginning of their turn here. I think I'll try to get greedy with this. Yeah. I feel like they're going to have the, uh, like some sort of destroy target creature, murderous cut or something here. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Called it. So, 
I will fetch the uh, red green one here or the plateau. Um, yeah, I think this is more of a white deck than a green deck. It's about equal. I'll get the. I meant to get the other one, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Ooh, I'm gonna put that on top because they missed their land drop here. I don't love this play. This is not my style, but they did miss their land drop. So, might be able to cheese them. Hellbent here. Break through. Uh, okay. Yep. Every card but endurance costs three. Um, I should have been more patient with that wasteland, because now they got a blue land. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have uh. Waited. The blue lands are the ones you really want to hit. But uh, they missed their land drop, and I was bloodthirsty. That's a good one. Okay. Force. It might just tempo me out. I have a lot of good top decks. I'm thinking this is a Murktai GG, though. Kind of on a no-outer there. Yeah. 5-5. Five, five. Uh, maybe Breakthrough into Mystic? Or something? Damn, that's really late. It buys me a turn. Not very good. Kind of buys me two turns, I guess, but it's not the way you want to buy turns. They smelled it. Good on them. Target them. All right. Let's see what happens. A deep root. Cool. So we attack. Okay. Yeah, I think we're dead. If they didn't block, I could have got Saga back. But... Yeah, that's just uh, GG. Damn. All right. Do I think any differently of things? Time for game three, yeah. Like, this stops Bowmasters, but it also stops my Mystic. I don't think I want that. It also stops my endurance. Yeah. But then again, I'm kind of, I, I like that concept, but I'm like wondering if um on the play, if I just try to just like Thalia them out of the game, you know? Like, maybe these Outland Liberators 
aren't better than Thalia. And then... Jitte is not that great. Maybe I just take the Jitte out and just run a Moloch. Try that. Yeah, let's try it. Best top deck is, uh, well, it's not Mox anymore. It would have been. Lead with that. Got it made. All right. Don't bow master me. That's looking like a Bowmaster. Then again, they probably wouldn't tap that way. Well, okay. All right. I think they could have waited to see if it hurt me. But whatever. I got it made. That Thalia feels bad. Uh, Bone Master. Yeah, not sure what this is. Okay, bean. Okay, I'm guessing they 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 block this card for sure. It's um, that's really awkward. Damn. All right. Play this. Um, a wasteland would feel pretty rough here, but fortunately, I'm dodging it. Um, they could Murtai, but it would just be a four-four. Deed, but Deed would kill two of their cards and two of mine, so not great. Yeah. All right. A 4-4 four, four draw card. Pretty good. Hmm. Going to get a... Uh, whatever the fuck. Um... One of these guys. We don't want to draw that. Okay. Cool. Wait. Oh, I almost skipped it. Oh, that'd have been so bad. Oof. I got lucky. Oh. Okay. Yeah.
Pretty awkward here. Gonna have to get the Shadow Spear. And I'm gonna have to play in two days, which doesn't feel good. I mean, I, I could Mox here, but... I don't think I should. If it was not a Saga, if it was just some other stupid card, maybe. All right. They have pressure, but it's not like immense pressure. I think I can, okay. Of course I will, sure. All right. Taking at least four next turn. Get an underground C. Okay. Powder keg. That's pretty annoying. Uh, I did not bring in a pissing needle either. So this is sacrifice to destroy each artifact and creature. So interesting. Man, this is hard. I'm gonna pause. Um, I could try the Mystic now, or I could equip this and attack. I think I ought to try the Mystic. Like, I think there's another Bowmasters here. I'll just attack with that one. Okay. Yeah. Maybe there is. Um... So, Force was brutal. Okay. Okay, they're going to hit the spear? I didn't expect that. I, I feel like... They might have wanted to have said no, but said yes. It's a May ability. Huh. Waste, okay. Well, it changes it a little bit.
All right. I'm guessing they have another Murktide. Yeah, murderous cut would be bad, but Murktide is... Yeah, that's probably insurmountable here. Damn. Thing's gonna be huge. 8-8, eight, eight, yeah. Yep, and I'm gonna turn too late on the Soul Guide. Ah. Uh, yeah, there's, there's, uh, that's, that's the GG here. All right. Um, five mana. Yep. There's no way out. Damn it. Closer. Um, I wonder if I didn't play the Thalia, if I would have went with, like, Outland Liberator, if I'd have been better off, because... Thalia dying there was, like, so bad. Maybe that was, like, a greedy mindset. It could have just been a punish, though. Like, it, it maybe it was the right game plan to try to win the game, but you lost because you lost, you know? Dang. Dang it, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. Um... All right, well, I think, uh, yeah, you said it, stupid sexy Flanders. Um, Abzan Stoneblade, okay. That's pretty cool. I don't feel great about this deck against a list like that, though. And I think a hand like this is a mull. Um, Alright, yeah, we keep. I don't know what to put back, though, huh? I think I'm going to put the waste back. Abdan Stoneblade is D and T. Yes, it is. Wow. Um. I think in that case, I'll ditch this. I don't know. I'm going to ditch the waste. They play a lot of basics. That. That actually might have been a sus bottom. I don't know. I think I'm going to lead with that. Okay. They got a backstreet boy. Okay, so they're healthy on lands. Um. A mystic, yep. A batter boy. Okay. I will also... I think I'm going to get the green-white here. Lush Portico. 
I think I keep that though. This is like the one matchup where like you probably keep it. Not the one, but one of the rather. I'm not disrespecting. Do they have solitude? No fucking way. Oh, I have so much regret. What did they pitch? Uh, they pitched um, their own Dahlia. Okay. Well, we're in trouble. Damn free spells. With the information given, I should have played Mystic. All right, I got the bigger batter. Damn it, they have three drop. Uh oh. Yeah. That card on Dahlia against Batter Skull is actually like manageable. There's a lot of tricks here, so it's looking bad, but I, I have a chance. Especially if they don't, which I, my read is they're a good player, so I don't think I'm going to win this. I've like seen signs of having a good understanding of the deck. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes that's the best out. Do they not understand? Okay, yeah, bottom or whatever yard. I think we still have to sit though, because if I attack, yeah. Intruder, yep. Bo. All right, son of a bitch, yeah. All right, we're dead. Damn, this is going to be hard. All right. Um, Thalia's out. Graveyard card out. Graveyard card out. These four in Hushbringer in. Don't think I want Containment Priest over something else. It's probably not bad, but you know. Hmm. 
I should have bought the uh, the new Hushbringer card with Flash. I think it's uh, likely better. I'll keep it. Maybe Chalice should have went out instead of like... Well, I took out a lot of bad cards. Um, but Chalice on one's actually still pretty good because I don't run swords and they do. So, I think I should have brought the needle in though. Should have brought the needle in. Yeah. Um, so Caldra and hope that that's good. Probably their own mystic here. No plow. Okay. Bummer. And that. So they could solitude it, but they can't punt it or plow it, rather. So if this flips, that's really good. Recruiter of the Gad. A wonder what they would get. Maybe just like a flicker wisp here. Uh solitude. Damn, they're really gonna go for it. Okay, that sucks. That really sucks, actually. They pitch flicker wisp. Um so now I, I have to Top deck well here. That's good. We're good. That does suck. Batter. We just waste. Hoping the uh, Chalice on one is stopping Mom and many other good cards. So they pitched Flicker Wisp. They have a three. Okay. Phyrexian Revoker would be good. Hopefully they miss a land drop, though.
their own mystic would be annoying. Skyclave? Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're getting wrecked. Moloch? That's cool. So awkward. I think it's Hushbringer. I could just kill the Haywire Mite here. But I, I, I think I'm going to get the Hush. Then again, I think Hushbringer is better with the uh, Artifact Suite that I have. Because it's not going to stop my living weapon. So I think Hushbringer is actually better in the deck. Damn. Of course they have a thing. Nope, they don't. Okay. Cool. Uh, if I draw a land, I'm in good shape. I do not. So I have to, like, wind up the punch. Yeah, it's some weird art. Man, people are fucking their one drops up against uh, me a lot here. So they have that on five, which is brutal. Shadow Spear was like probably the worst possible draw, huh? I know that they have that. So, yep. It doesn't trigger the abilities, which is cool. Um, I had played one previously. Uh, that that's why. This deck runs too. If they have solitude, I'm going to be really sad. Um, let's just attack like this. Doesn't appear so. So I'm not going to get my Mystic back because of my own Hushbringer, which is kind of awkward. Mm-hmm. Cool. 
Man, my, my opponents are forgetting that Chalice is a card. And um, it is benefiting me heavily. Wondering if I hit the recruiter. I'm just saying no. Fuck yeah. Yeah. The dying ability didn't happen because of that. Okay. So. Needle I do think I want. You like priest? So I could take the chalices out, maybe. And they were good that game, but like I think that was more my like opponents making mistakes. And then I could try the sash, possibly. Yeah. It could it could bite me. So the choice is I, I think it's chalice or these four. And I think I want to fit the needle somehow. Yeah. It did. That's true. Alright. So how do I fit the one needle then? I, mean, I think all these are good. Maybe over just one of the chalices, I'll run three. Because they're good, but they're not amazing. Like, they run vile and stuff. This kind of shuts down vile. Making up reasons to do things. Chalice is still pretty good late. All right, we're going to try it. Pretty awkward hand, though. Oh. I think we play, I think we do it this way. And then I think I'm going to Chalice on one next turn. We'll see, though. Because if they play Mystic here, that's going to change the calculus. Yeah. Shit. Okay. So now I think I need to use Breakout.
They got a call, bro. Pretty rough. Um, I think I need a bottom that. That's really what I fucking wanted there. Maybe I should have parlored first and it would have dug me one deeper. That probably was the mistake, actually. If I would have played parlor first, it would have dug me one deeper. I think it's going to be too late for that. Um, yeah. Yeah, seventh card down. I only, the only one drop that I had to play is like Haywire Might. So, yeah. It was, uh, I think that's an outright misplay. I didn't think it would be as important, but I think it's a misplay. Yeah. Good point. Pretty hard to race that. Shadow Spear would have also allowed me to kill that too, but now I don't really think that's a possibility. So. Yeah, we're in big trouble. My own Mystic Unanswered is pretty much how I get out of this. And even then, it might not be good enough. So, they're thinking that's terrifying. That means they have a lot of options here. Yeah, they're going to flicker the Mystic. Ooh, flicker the vial or flicker that. Stupid sexy Flanders. Yeah, we're in big trouble. They're doing all the things. Uh, uh Okay. We also got a Lauren card, whatever the the ETB destroy enchantment. Card. Probably going to be scoop here unless I draw something amazing. GG's. Damn. Well, 3 2. Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, also, I think this deck was like pretty weak to it. Um, do a little recap here. Um, where is it? It is. Called it like breakout something, right? Break out of prison. Okay. Um, so my initial thoughts here. Uh, Moloch is a very good card, but I don't know if it's for this deck. I like the Saga tech. It's weird. I felt like this was kind of two decks in one, right? So you had your um your chalices, right? Which were like overperforming today. Um uh, partly due to opponents misplays, but also I think just very effective. So Mox and Chalice I think is in a decent place. Um the problem is when you run Mox you want 26 lands and then when you run 26 lands 
and all your creatures are two drops, you're going to flood. So my thinking at the time was play Saga, because it's sort of like both a land and, you know, a threat. Chrome Mox and more two drops. Yeah, that might really actually be the way. The advantage to Mox Diamond is Deep Root Wayfinder. But I don't think you want to base all your choices on on this one card. But like Deep Root Wayfinder with Breakout and Mox is like kind of living the dream. Yeah, I think if you want to push further into Breakout, you probably go Chrome Mox. I think you're right. And then um, if you run Chrome Mox, you could probably still run Chalice. The artifacts get worse with Chrome Mox, which might be kind of awkward. Um, I don't know how much of an issue that is. Mystic was good today under Chalice. Yeah. I think you're right there, too. Um, Thalia had some moments this game. But Bowmaster is probably just better. But I wonder. Yeah, there, there's virtually no removal. It's sort of like um, my mindset was playing it like um, goblins, almost like the only removal you're getting is like Moloch and like Jitte, and just you just got to be bigger than your opponent. It's like um. Not bad against the blue decks, but very rough against Haxes, where you have just Moloch as your only option, and Moloch getting hit by Solitude was kind of rough. My instinct... Yeah, four Molochs I think would be decent. My instinct, maybe, from here... If I were to try this again. And I think the white. The advantage to playing white. Is you get a lot of really good sideboard two drops. Right. You probably could not bother with that. So maybe the next version I try is saga with black instead of white that would open up these slots here these 12 yeah I like the idea of Mystic for closing games out, but maybe um, Saga is fine. Just wondering if if these three equipment become creatures, then we're at 20 creatures. Yeah. I seen that with Jund. I I think my only beef was I I wouldn't run double black or double green or double red or anything like that. Inti, I think he was trying. And Inti seemed like a good card to give haste. But um it wasn't like you were discarding something like um say a punishing fire. Or a um, Life from the Loam. Um, and it wasn't like you had... Um, uh, Street Wraith. Or something like that. Um, I think it's the first one. 
Um, and that card's like five bucks in T. It's not a lot. Um, but I, I have used a lot of my dollar redos recently um, to buy Nick Fit, which um, can't tell me that's a bad idea. I also have to use this. This expired. Oh, no, it expired 320. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, whatever. Um. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll do that. I don't think I have time for that today. But thank you, Harry. So I got a limited. And I would go to draft. Uh, vintage Phantom, yeah, cool. Okay, Phantom Draft, thank you. Um, maybe I'll do that in the next few streams. I hate to waste points, you know. Um, it's like if I can just like convert them into like tickets that would make me happier but that probably isn't you know doable i don't think that's a tradable item right for the 27th shit i gotta do seven drafts damn it uh i probably should ah maybe that's what i'll do seems fun thanks for letting me know harry Yeah, just four Smada White every time. I tried playing a, a Storm deck last time, and I got one win. One game win, I think. It was like, you know, the wrong person trying to figure out Storm. Chat was trying to help me, too, but I just, I might not have played it well. Um, damn. Yeah, I could see doing another breakthrough list or breakout list. Maybe I'll try it with Black next time. Um, I'd have to buy a fourth mall lock, which is like pretty a lot of dollar redos. Um, I don't have a fourth bow master either. I just have three. You'd probably want four. Um, maybe there's some weird like uh, tide hallows sculler. No, that's black white. Never mind. I think turning this into four colors is a mistake, too. Did he say steak? Um, Mox is good. Well, um, that's going to be me. I have a super-duper easy raid. I didn't even realize homie was on. Uh, Arkin, thank you for the raid. Um, I'll have this video up on YouTube. Harry, great seeing you. Um, Martinez, uh, Iron... Uh, definitely appreciate people stopping by today. Um, Mangork. Um, yeah. Basket. We got some really good Maverick games, I'm sure. Or whatever Google's playing. See ya. Twin.